five, 15 people shot in just two days. Three people were killed in the shootings this weekend in Louisville. And as WDRB's Darby Bean reports, several others, including five juveniles, ended, in the, ended up in the hospital. Darby? Gil, police say there were at least six separate shootings between Saturday and Sunday. LMP now, LMPD now this afternoon is telling us there are suspects or persons of interest in some of those cases, but they're not specifying which cases. Two days, more than two dozen people shot in Louisville. Three of them were killed. This is not Louisville. This is a few people who are committing harm, who are causing harm. Between Saturday and Sunday, LMPD says this is where those shootings happened in different parts of the city. In several of the shootings, more than one person was shot, including a shooting Sunday morning at a parking lot on Raggard Road. Police now say seven people, five juveniles and two adults were shot. They're all expected to survive. What people need to understand, what they have to go through and the process they have to go through once they get rushed to the hospital and then try to recover where they're in there for a day or several weeks or months. It's a long grinding process to try to get back to normalcy and they sometimes never do because the fear factor still lingers with them. According to LMPD, there have been at least 75 homicides this year. Each year since 2020 has ended with more than 140 homicides in the city. It's been a consistent over the past several years uh, of, of violence, of retaliations, of grudges, of uh, um, senseless acts of violence that, that, that are, are, are retaliated against in, in, in many cases, uh, which then escalates and, and continues on that cycle. Some say they have hope for the future, but say the violence has been going on for years. There's been times that I've been angry, but I just couldn't bring myself to the cause of causing harm to someone like that. LMPD is calling on the community to help with information as homicide unit detectives continue to work cases. They work tirelessly long hours. Uh, obviously, when we have a weekend like this, uh, it takes every resource we have. Obviously, there are, uh, many of those detectives are working multiple cases and, and working multiple scenes through the weekend. Anti-violence advocate Christopher Tuex says he's seeing more and more of people trying to change the trend. And then people in the community doing their part in each neighborhood. That's the encouraging part. Police do not believe that any of the homicide cases from this weekend are connected to each other. There have not been any arrests yet. And Gil, aside from these shootings on Saturday and Sunday, there were also two other non-fatal shootings on Friday night. A violent epidemic, violence epidemic in the city of Louisville. All right, Darby, thank you.